Hi folks, I'm Mr. Perrazzo. I teach electives. Um, and uh, I've got a pretty good set of hopefully interesting, informative, and fun uh, electives uh, choices this year. First, we've got photography slash Photoshop, um, where students can use uh, their, their iPhones or phones uh, or yours and uh, learn about some of the basics of photography. And uh, while we don't have actual Photoshop, uh, what we do have, and uh, this is just is really cool, is uh, a thing called PhotoP, which is you can use in your web browser. It's a little bit slower than actual Photoshop would be, but Photoshop's expensive. Uh, but it's got all the same tools. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's going to be fun. We've also got um, that's going to be Mondays. And Tuesday is video production, where again we're going to use your phones or student phones. Uh, if if you you or your student have uh, a video camera or a, a single lens reflex camera, uh, they're completely welcome to use that. Otherwise, we can do everything we need to do uh, with uh, phone cameras. So um, with the video class, we've got a thing called Oops We Video. And again, this has all the basic parts of, uh, I mean, the essentials of your video editors. And uh, a lot of cool extra things in this, this software. The kids, have, they're, they're going to have a lot of fun. So, uh, so there's that. And then we've got Minecraft projects. Um, yeah, I know that a lot of people just think of it as, you know, just kind of a game. But it's more than that. It's really what they would call a sandbox. So there's a lot of um, a lot of computational thinking, and and we'll be using a particular version of Minecraft for education. Um, and uh, the kids are gonna we're gonna be doing long projects. Um, and I'm, I'm imagining if your child signed up for Minecraft, they've used it before. Um, so. That makes it a lot more fun for me because I'm still learning how to use it. Um, so yeah, last year, as you can see here, we did a project about sustainable cities for Earth Week. Uh, so we'll have that. Those are the kind of projects that we're going to be doing. And then um, we also have computer science slash um, scratch programming. If you've never seen Scratch, it looks like this. Um, so there's, it's the same basics as you learn in some of the more uh, complex programs like Python or C plus or Java, um, but it's called block programming. So you learn the essentials of programming in uh, a much more compact, easier way um, to put things together and make things happen. And um, all the computational thinking that you would use in the more complex software is right here. So uh, so it's designed for, um, for beginners. So let's see, what else do we have? Um, also, I've recruited uh, Mrs. Brazo, who's gonna be doing a couple classes for the more uh, hands-on crowd. She's going to be doing crochet along with um, uh, bookmaking. So we're going to be taking uh, and actually making a book from scratch. So, uh, yeah, Mrs. Perez is pretty incredible with those kind of things. And um, I'm also going to be doing uh, your strategies for success this first trimester, um, giving your kids some skills like time management and note-taking um, so they can do their best in our classes. Along with study hall, my, my class will be doing will be Monday through Thursday uh, for study hall. Um, and I think let's go here to the photography class. And you can see on my first page in each of the classes is a description of my grading, how I do the grades. Um, there are two basic skills that they're going to do that, that will make them successful is work hard 
and do their best. Um, uh, when you go to your child's uh, course, and I encourage you to do so, check out all of the work that they do. Take some time and sit down and look at uh, each of the videos that we're putting out tonight. And, um, you know, really get an idea of what does your child see when they open up Canvas? You know, what, what are they doing? Have them show you. Have them sit down and show you what they're doing. Um, and then you'll come across this for my classes, which is um, basically we're heading for a three where you meet expectations at the very least. Um, and then if they go above and beyond, that's where you get the four, which you can think of as an A. Um, and what I like to do is um, look at look at grading kind of like uh, failure is not an option. You know, so if they get a two, um, they can always submit, resubmit it. Um, and then uh, a one, which would be an F or by just getting one or not even doing it. Um, if you see an F in any assignment, and same with your child, if you see an F, um, that's just, I look at that as your first try. So you can go back and, and do that again if you like, and, you know, head for an A. That's that's my goal, uh, A or or, uh, or a four. So, um, yeah, that's my my approach is that uh, I'm here to, here to have fun, and I learn these things. Uh, I learn more each time I teach the course courses. Um, so that's that's the plan. Have fun and learn stuff. So, yeah. If you ever have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Um, all of us, we uh, monitor our mail all day long and do our best to get back to you as soon as we can. So I hope to see you soon.